We've owned it since 2014 and 2016 between 2014 and 2016. I met him in 2010, and it took me four years to get to know him. He said, what took you so long? I invested $400 million between 2014 and 2016, making about $5 billion at its peak and making about $4 billion now. Three years ago, we sold about a quarter of our stock. How much do you hold now, though? I can't remember the exact number, but it's a significant portion of our assets, roughly 7 or 8% of our total. And what do you think about this pay package, which was approved by shareholders and now being returned to them? When it comes to this plan, how will you vote your shares or vote for? Let's talk about taking big risks and daring actions in the investing market. In this context, Ron Barron and the Barron Partners Fund are essentially the experts, veterans, and legends. They didn't just invest a little here and a little there in Tesla. They went all in acquiring a massive 30% long position in the company. This means they own a substantial... Take Apple, for example, at NVIDIA. They succeeded because they had a product that was good for video games. Conversely, when Amazon arrived, what it had as a bookseller, you should see what they have produced. Tesla, for example, makes automobiles, which are going to be like books or games for other businesses because they have all this other technology. This firm is going to be very big. I adore Tesla, and now hold on to your hats or investment portfolios because Ron Barron sees more in Tesla than just cars. We're talking about a transition from a car manufacturer to a software and tech titan. It's like watching a quiet kid in the back of the class become a rock star. Only this rock star also sells solar panels and builds rockets. Talk about a glow up. As we navigate these financial stratospheres, keep in mind that investing in Tesla, according to Barron, isn't just about buying shares. It's about buying a piece of the future. If Ron's predictions come true, we might just be riding the elevator to the penthouse of the stock market, in which case you would be damaged as a new shareholder. You're buying into a company where you have one of the most exceptional, possibly the most exceptional, executive in this country managing your business. Do you really want to treat him poorly? Last year, there happened to be so that Tesla has 140,000 employees, which demonstrates how highly sought after positions are at Tesla, where graduates want to work. Six million applications for 12,000 positions. So consider that the reason they have it is not because of the Tesla name or car. Rather, consider his ability to draw these amazing people to this company in order to grow it, manage it, and implement changes that benefit the entire world. You want to renew a contract on a deal you made with him. Well, let's navigate some rough waters because even industry titans like Tesla have experienced rough weather lately. Everyone's attention was focused on Elon Musk's compensation package, which, to put it mildly, sparked a heated debate. This wasn't just a routine boardroom discussion. Shareholders voiced their opinions through votes that represented a range of viewpoints regarding the amount and fairness of Musk's compensation. However, just when it appeared that the issue was resolved, a Delaware judge intervened and overturned the initial ruling. This sudden turn of events threw a major wrench in the works, appending the consensus and causing repercussions throughout the financial community. It serves as a sobering reminder that corporate governance rarely proceeds as planned, even at the highest levels. Imagine being promised the largest pizza in the world, only to learn that the judge has declared your choice of toppings to be unconstitutional. But wait, this is no simple story of chump change. A lawyer swung for the fences, demanding a whooping 5.6 billion in Tesla shares. Yes, billion with a B. This lawsuit is more than simply a legal dispute. It's a drama akin to a summer blockbuster. For that amount of money, you could purchase a sizable portion of Mars or even start your own space program. And just when we thought our story couldn't get any more fascinating, enter the scene and add a pinch of political drama to the mix. A fascinating side story in the unfolding tale of Tesla might be woven by President Biden's encounters with Elon Musk. There's a saying that politics makes for weird bedfellows, and nowhere is this more true than when the stakes are high. Business and innovation arena, the relationship between Biden and Musk is more than just a small detail. It has the potential to have a big impact on Tesla's strategic choices and future course, guiding the company either into calmer waters or into more turbulent ones. Water's time will tell, but one thing is for sure. Politics and business always combine to spark change. In the case of Tesla, this means that we will all be watching closely. It will be like watching your two uncles fight at a cookout. One used to be vice president of the popcorn company, the other built rockets. Things are improving in order to keep one of the most innovative companies at the forefront of the tech and automotive industries.
navigating these legal battles and political victories is more than just keeping the ship afloat. After all, if anyone can turn a courtroom drama into a masterclass in innovation, it's probably the guy who believes a traffic jam can be solved by excavating a tunnel under law, therefore. I believe that the way they're handling this is incredibly unfair and that he should be compensated because he earned it and deserves it. You've stated for a while now that the Keeman theory, which bases a lot of the company's value on Elon Musk, is what worries you the most about Tesla. So, what do you think will happen if this package is rejected? I can't see in it Elon Musk's head, but I know he has a significant stake in the company and that he has created a great deal of value for everyone. Let's now zoom in on the visionary realm where Elon Musk reigns. It's no secret that many tech enthusiasts dream of working at Tesla, but how popular is the position? Well, consider this. There are 6 million applications for just 12,000 positions. This isn't a job market that's a contest for the most intelligent, nerdy people. In fact, your chances of landing a position at Tesla are significantly worse than those of winning a golden ticket to Wiley Wonka's chocolate factory. And it's not just about electric cars either. Elon Musk's empire extends into space with SpaceX, the internet with Starlink, and our brains with Neuralink. These aren't side projects. Rather, they are the interconnected mechanisms that give Tesla its competitive edge. Imagine having a gadget for every need, like Batman's utility belt, which can be used to launch satellites or wire up brains. Tesla, I think in the next 15 years, next 10 years, we're going to make four, five, six times their money, but I can't even put a top on how much we're going to make in Tesla because there's so many businesses, this robotics, this robotics business is going to be unbelievable with robotics for him. I think that uh, it's going to cost 567,000 for a robot, but there's billions of people on the planet he thinks everyone's going to have a robot, and you're going to charge money, this is like the ecosystem again, where you're going to get charged every year for software, uh, for uh, for, for using your robots, it's going to keep getting better and better and better. And you think about a factory worker gets $10,000 or $200,000 or $150,000 a year, and all of a sudden you have robots that are able to do that to make all these factory workers more and more productive. And now says the GDP is the number of people times of product you produce. All of a sudden you're not going to need the people to produce the product. Everyone's lives is going to be dramatically better because of AI, because of robotics. Robotics is going to be a really big deal for Tesla. And that is not in the stock in any way, shape, or form speaking of the future. Let's explore robotics and artificial intelligence. Thanks to robotics and artificial intelligence, Tesla is preparing to transform productivity by 2030 in addition to merely making cars smarter. It's evident that Tesla, under Musk's direction, isn't just pushing the envelope, from artificial intelligence to interstellar travel. They're redesigning everything. If you thought a robot vacuum was the pinnacle of technology, wait to see what Tesla's cooking up. We might end up with robots that not only drive us to work, but also do our jobs for us. With Elon at the helm, it's less a matter of if and more a matter of when we're all living in a science fiction film. Tesla is leading the way for what's coming, making it more than simply an automotive corporation. As we speed toward the end of our thrilling Tesla journey, let's hope this one has a happy ending, everyone. Let's take a moment to decelerate and review the intense action that has transpired, ranging from Ron Barron's astounding investment returns to Elon Musk's remuneration roller coaster and the visionary leaps towards an AI-driven future. It has been an incredible journey, and if Tesla were a film, it would resemble a blend of sci-fi epic and blockbuster with a hint of soap opera. Not only has Ron Barron thrown his financial support behind Tesla, but he's also put on his seatbelt, grabbed some popcorn, and is ready for Elon Musk's presentation. His unwavering support isn't just about money, it's about having faith in a future in which Tesla leads the charge and transforms our world. And let's be honest, this is Tesla Stock News till next time. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow along as we watch Tesla's trailblazing journey forward. If Ron is betting on Tesla, it might just be the safest bet since betting that the sun will rise tomorrow. Maintain a keen eye for investments and even more curiosity.